What is going on guys? Today we got a different video on deck, but I think it's a fun one. Today I'm gonna help you guys try to figure out if you're picking out a racing shoe, which racing shoe to get um, for which event. So starting over here, we have the Nike Matumbo and this is the original, oh, excuse me, this is the Mamba, Mamba V. So um, this is no longer made. Um, Pretty stiff, you can see right here, a little bit of give, but um, not too much. And this is the Mamba. So going down the line, then big difference here. Now we have the uh, Alpha Fly Next Percents. So you can see just how stiff this had a little bit of give because no plate in this one. We have a carbon fiber plate and no give at all, completely stiff. Um, and yeah, these are the Alpha Fly Next Percents. These are the newest shoes. I have never worn these for a workout. Um, just got these today. These are the Nike Air Zoom um, Victory Spikes. And they also have a carbon fiber plate, so you can just see how stiff they are. And we have, similar to this, um, the Alpha Fly Next Percent, we have two air pockets in the front. Um, clearly smaller, but uh, still air pockets in this shoe. And we do have the carbon fiber plate, as I said. And in the back here, we have some Zumex foam and an Adam knit upper. I got two pairs of these. I got one size 10 and a half, one size 11, because I heard they um, they run pretty uh, pretty big. So um, I'm usually 11, decided to get a 10 and a half too. And after trying them on, I'm really glad. I think uh, you need to go a size a half size down, maybe even a full size down for these. For some reason, they just uh, run pretty uh, pretty big. Moving down the line now, we have the, um, you guys know these, the Vaporfly, Next Percents, uh, carbon fiber plate, Zumex foam, um, stiff shoe. I gotta say, one of my favorites all time. And lastly, we have the Nike Zoom Victory and these are the Victory 2s, not the Elite ones. They just have a plastic plate down here, not a metal plate. And no plate, but they're still pretty stiff, I'd say. Maybe a little less stiff than the Matumbos, um, the Mambas, excuse me. So, um, yeah, just a pretty generic spike. <sighs> so now I'm going to get into how much each shoe weighs. So we're gonna start down here with the Mamba V. Okay, so the Mamba um, V comes in at 4.6 ounces in my size 11. Moving on to the Alpha Fly Next Percent. Um, expecting this one to be much heavier, one of the uh, heaviest shoes I've raced in. Yeah, way heavier. So, um, Alpha Fly Next Percents in my size 11 again, coming in at 8.7 ounces. Um, moving on to the new ones, let me make sure. I'm, so I'm gonna weigh the size 11 just so we have the same size throughout all the uh, testing and weighing. So this is the um, new Air Zoom Victory and my size 11. Wow, so those come at 5.1 ounces. So definitely heavier, heavier than the uh, Mambas, but compared with having a carbon fiber plate just like the uh, Alpha Zumex foam and the pockets, way lighter than the Alpha Fly Next Percents. So uh, that's good to know. Moving on to one of my all time favorites, Vaporfly Next Percents. Um, I'm interested to see how much these will weigh. Um, definitely my favorite road racing shoe. Okay, so these come in at 7.4 ounces, again, in my size 11. So um, definitely not, not as light as some uh, racing shoes out there, but still uh, not bad. And lastly, the Nike um, Victory from, I think, two years ago, and in my size 11 once again. Okay, so those come in at 4.25 ounces. So knowing those weights, I'm just gonna give you guys a little rundown in the shoes I have worn and raced in. Um, I was a big fan of these 
early on, especially racing a couple 5Ks in them, doing some longer workouts. Um, but I just like wasn't a big fan after a little while of how heavy they were. And they just felt a little too chunky underfoot, especially on the track. Like on the track, I want to feel light and uh, fast around the turns. And these just felt like a little too much, a little too much weight. Again, these were the heaviest shoe out of all of these. So I just didn't like them that much anymore for uh, shorter distances like 5K and down. And especially for short, shorter workouts, I found myself like reaching for uh, next percents over these um, just because again, they were just heavy and just felt a little too clunky. So for anyone looking for a road racing shoe, this would be my number one recommendation. Alpha uh, Vaporfly Next Percents. Um, again, I'm just gonna throw them on the scale one more time. 7.4 ounces, but you're getting almost 40, uh, 39 millimeters of stack height, Zoomex foam, carbon fiber plate, and these just feel fast and um, light on feet and everything you'd want in a racer. So the real question is, what would you use all of these spikes for? And I'm gonna tell you what I plan to use these spikes for. I've worn these and I've worn these in the past, so I'll start with these first. Um, if I was gonna race anything 800 meters and down, which I'm a distance runner, so probably not, I would um, I'd reach for these there. Uh, even if like workout to the end of a workout, I'm doing some fast 200s, 400s, I'm probably gonna reach for these. Um, again, I think these, I'll throw them on a scale one more time, 4.5, 4.25. Okay, so these are the second lightest. Uh, these are about a um, quarter of an ounce heavier than these. So um, not the lightest, but they just feel, they get you on your toes. Like there's no, when you're wearing them, you have no support in the back. So it really forces you on your toes, uh, the position you'd want to be uh, running some fast 200s or 400s. So anything 800 meters and down, I would uh, reach for the Mamba V. And let's see, I personally, I wouldn't buy these. I, I would go for these over the, um, the Mamba V over the Nike Victory 2s, just because they these didn't do much for me. Um, although light, I like the feel of these more. I think maybe they were, these were a little bit more rigid. Um, and just gave me a little bit more return. And again, I feel like these let you like slip onto your heel maybe a little bit more because um, they're less built up in the front um, than the Mambas. So I think I wouldn't buy these again. Um, just don't do much for me personally. Um, yeah, so that's what I use the Mamba V's for. And what I plan to use these for, again, haven't worn them, just got them today. But I plan to run these anything 1,500 meters all the way up to 10K. Um, I love the feel of these early on, but again, I just they just got too heavy. They just felt too clunky underfoot. So these are exactly what I was looking for. Have all the same components, um, carbon fiber plate, Zoom Air pockets, um, Zoom X foam in the back. So everything I wanted, light, um, nice breathable upper, and so exactly what I wanted in a shoe and Nike pulled through. Um, I was looking for these for a while and just one thing I wanted to tell you guys, I don't know if they'll still be there, but today when I'm filming this video, they're still available on uh, Runners Plus. I've never bought anything from there and I have no uh, financial compensation for saying their name in this video, obviously. I'm an NCAA athlete, so can't take any money from anyone so but they are selling them that's the only place i could find them and if you want a pair you can check them out there so i'd use these anything 1500 meters up to 10k that's what i plan on using these and yeah i think that concludes it i hope this was useful for anyone out there watching looking to pick up a new pair of racing shoes um if you like this video hit that subscribe button um and yeah catch you guys in the next one peace